Hello, my name is Scott Grizzard from the University of South Florida, and today I'm going to be talking about how to use a piece of software called Reflector 3 uh, to send your iPad screen to OBS. So I got a question uh, from a person about they tried to hook it up with this little thing, um, the HDMI lightning adapter, um, and it didn't work. Uh, for the app they wanted to use. So this thing apparently only supports so many apps. I can't verify that. Um, I am not a Mac person. Uh, my brother was kind enough to lend me his and I was able to figure out how to stream it to OBS. So what we need is a piece of software uh, called Reflector 3. Um, it does cost money at like 17 or 18 bucks. Uh, there's also a $20 version, the one I ended up buying. Um, and it takes uh, outputs from various sources and it does this. It mirrors that those sources to the screen. So now, of course, I've got as long as I can, if I can broadcast something to a screen, of course, in OBS, I can suddenly put it on my uh, on my videos and in my live streams. So I'm just going to show you real fast how to set this thing up uh, so it works for you. Okay, so now as you can see, I've got my uh, OBS window set up here. Um, I've got my, um, uh, right now I'm using my document camera to broadcast what's going on on the uh, iPad. Uh, so you can see, and then I've got Reflector open. And when I configured Reflector, I called it Scott Desktop Dash Reflector. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to connect this to Reflector, and it's actually very easy. You just come over here to the corner. This is OS 13 point something, and you hit screen mirroring. And then it's going to ask you, oh, where? Yes, that's what I want to mirror to. Now, what's going to appear on the, the screen is, of course, a password, and then it's going to ask me to type that password into on the... Uh, on the iPad and I just click OK on the iPad and then it appears and of course I need to get rid of the there so it appears in this big gunky spot um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here well first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the other screen um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to set my settings on my iPad because I don't want this gunk everywhere. Come back. I don't want this gunk everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I can do this a couple of ways, um, but I'm going to change the frame. Let me show you that. I'm going to change the frame to, I'm just going to turn off the frame. So once I've got that, I'm just going to slide this over here. Now, coming back to OBS, I want to add this, this new window this window here as a source in OBS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new scene. What I'm going to do basically is copy a current scene and then change a little bit. So I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on this scene here, screen two, I'm going to hit duplicate and I'll call this uh, scene iPad. And I'm just going to hit okay. And then I'm going to get rid of screen two. But the point is it copied my microphone, it copied my camera, it copied all my, you know, settings. Um, and that's great. That's what I want. So I didn't have to go through and add my camera manually and stuff like that again. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this plus signal here. I'm going to add a window capture. Um, I'm going to call this iPad uh, from through reflector. And I'm going to hit OK. And now I need to find the iPad. Well, here it is. Reflector 3 iPad. Now, you see it's black. Now, some people have, will have different results depending on your hardware. Um, but uh, what I want to do, if you see the black screen, you just come over here to Windows Capture, and you just click that. Okay, and then it appears. And then you just click OK. Um, obviously, I want this to go away. There we go. Um, so now I'm seeing whatever's on my iPad, I now see mirrored to my OBS. And of course, I want to put the iPad below that so that it appears behind me on the screen. Um, and then I can resize the window and do all those things. So that's how you set up uh, the whole thing in OBS so that you can um, have a uh, connected iPad. 
Again, you don't need this little hardware thing. Um, you don't need this and you don't need a 4K capture card uh, and an HDMI connection between it. It, it. it works for some applications. It doesn't work for every application, but you can use this inexpensive piece of software called Reflector 3 to do it. Uh, so that's it. Thank you.